Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start uh, with today's uh, TA because um, currently I have a bit of uh, mixed uh, feelings uh, since this uh, Corona crisis that is going on right now and all these uh, big numbers of uh, employees and businesses uh, going uh, down it's kind of uh, weird to see the markets pumping especially the stock market and if we have a look also on the s p later on we're gonna have also a look on the s p and the dow jones because currently they are pumping like crazy and there i'm expecting uh, the price to continue to pump since we had a big uh, spike yesterday and uh, even though we have such a big uh, spike here, especially in the S&P, the um, unemployment numbers is going higher. Um, we have big problems. It's kind of uh, the whole virus crisis, everything was kind of forgot overnight. Also here in Switzerland, people are going back to work if they can work and everything is kind of going back to normal maybe also because of the temperature outside more people are going out and it seems like also there is uh, less and less contagions right now so it's kind of uh, everything forgot overnight and everything is coming back to normal i'm not trusting that yet 100 percent even though it is good and it's a good sign and we're making improvements but still something i think is still looming in the background maybe this also possible that during the summertime and autumn maybe we're gonna have uh, some uh, bullish uh, things coming up and also everything is recovering pretty well but i still consider for that maybe a second wave could be also coming and most likely if it's coming not during the summer so not in the next couple of weeks maybe in the winter time but this is my own expectation and that's why i would still trade very carefully if you're going all in or if you fomo in in case that we still continue to pump towards also the targets that i have so of course it is good to start to buy in or maybe you already invested in stocks or in crypto but it's also okay to take sometimes a little bit of profits out when you think that the time is right to take a little bit of profits so far i have a bit mixed feelings i am prepared for both scenarios one if we continue to dump not only in the crypto space but also in the stocks and at the other hand i'm also um, very well invested in case that you really have this big moonshot that i think could happen not only in the crypto space but even in the stock markets and um, yeah before we have a look also on the stock market quickly and maybe into some uh, altcoins uh, we do the daily uh, analysis through all the time frames here on the bitcoin so we start now with the one hour time frame because currently it seems like that this area here at around $9,700 is giving us a resistance. We were in this upwards moving channel the last couple of hours and days. And currently it looks like that we broke out to the downside after we closed the CMEs. So keep in mind that we closed the CMEs here on $9,800. So on Monday when we're going to start again here the CME market, we most likely going to have a future gap if we are not retracing back down to 9,800. Well, in this case, back up because currently we are dropping and it looks like we could go down to test here the support of around $9,000. That is possible. I may be planning to open a long or uh, buy some um, Bitcoins here just in for a short trade just really to uh, see if we're gonna have a bounce here to the upside or not because it is a very critical point if we're going down to nine thousand dollar we also have to see if we're gonna close some candles there especially in the four hour at this area or not or if we just have a wick down and uh, to this uh, main support that we have here coming up at nine thousand eighty dollars um and also then, of course, we would have a big future gap up to 9,800, which uh, would also coincide with this red line here. So this is the resistance that we had before this uh, fake out here of $10,400 and we retraced back down here. And currently we're still struggling to break through this resistance. So we only had a couple of weeks here to the upside and then we retraced immediately back down. 
and uh, yeah I'm not shorting it even though I think we could go down there I'm I want to open up longs currently because all in all the markets are doing pretty well so shorting right now I wouldn't feel uh, too much uh, comfortable and uh, we can also have a quick look here on the longs and uh, shorts uh, ratio because um, to scale in a big long position I think I uh, I want the price to go lower I want a better entry somewhere below 9k uh, possibly between 8k to 6k and if possible even better it would be if we have more shorts than longs um, in the market so currently we still have a lot of longs compared to the shorts so if there is a long squeeze we could see really a big waterfall it still could happen even though we had this big dump nothing much has uh, changed uh, here and I still think that there is a high chance that something like this could happen for the short um, at least for the lower time frames so I'm definitely not gonna open uh, longs uh, currently um, but i'm thinking about maybe, maybe to do um, a very short lift uh, long trade if we really drop down here and then put a very tight uh, stop loss because um, here also in the one hour you can see that currently we're trading below the 50 in the rsi so we could be now shifted to the downside we could get rejected at this uh, exactly at this uh, moment testing here the new resistance in case that we close again here above 9700 and also bring the rsi above the 50 we could be shifted again to the upside but currently it just looks like that in the lower time frames we are shifted again towards nine thousand dollar and uh, yeah stochastic is also shifted to the upside now in neutral territory and on the bollinger band also currently we are coming above the middle area so if we're gonna close above 9650 this hour then it could be that we are again shifted here to the upside so we could trade here between 9650 and also 9760 also mcd is having a bullish cross here if we're gonna close here above 9650 otherwise the target could be down here at least at 9540 here based on the one hour bollinger band and if we go over to the four hour let's have a look here where the 20 moving average is lining up because as you can see currently we are getting uh, some struggle here to break above the 20 moving average in the four hour so this moving average could give us resistance on the way down here so in case that you you want to short maybe this could be the time here between 9670 up to 9730 if you think it is wise to short now and write it down here to the support or maybe even if you have a breakout to the downside which could also happen um, maybe this is the good opportunity right now but as I told you there are also some bullish signs also in the one hour time frame that we could also break again to the upside it is very risky to short right now and that's why I'm not taking this uh, trade even though it looks like that we could have this resistance uh, for the lower time frames here at $9,700 RSI is also now below the 50 fighting here the 50 level stochastic could have a bullish cross here after being oversold so in theory we should see a big bounce here to the upside and the breakout from this uh, 20 moving average in the four hour and possibly also close this four hour candle above 9680 that would be very bullish because in that case uh, we most likely would retrace back into this channel that we were in before and if we can start to trade above 9800 dollar we could see very soon here a retest of 10300 even up to 10500 dollar so currently we are trading here be between 9100 dollar and nine and ten thousand five hundred thirty dollar everything between here um could happen even in the lower time frames uh, if we're gonna have a breakout here to the upside uh, of course the target would be somewhere between 14 to eighteen thousand dollar in my opinion before we would see any kind of uh, a pullback or correction and if we break out here to the downside so below 9150 then i would look for the fib lines uh, based on the move that we have seen in the last couple of uh, weeks so after we bottomed here at three thousand eight hundred dollar we came up to 10465 currently at the moment this is the top that we have and uh, in case of a breakout here to the downside so if we're gonna lose here this nine thousand dollar i'm watching here the next fib line so basically i'm starting to to scale in my long 
and also put everything back into Bitcoin what I took out here in this area up here. Just a very little portion of my portfolio I took out here just in, uh, to be ready in case of a drop here uh, towards one of these FIB lines. And the main FIB lines that I'm watching currently is here the 0 0.618 here at $6,400 and here the 0.382 FIB line at $8,000. It's, it's exactly at $7,920. So between here, between this range, I think we could see a retracement, a pullback because everything that is coming up will eventually also come down to have a test and then hopefully create a lower high. So higher than $3,800, which shouldn't be too difficult for Bitcoin in this time, I think. So everything between 6,400 to 7,900 should be the perfect long entry also to buy everything back in into Bitcoin and possibly have the last chance for everyone to buy cheap Bitcoins before we break here the main resistance and then uh, um, retest the, the all time highs and possibly also break it. So here in the four hour, uh, we now checked here the 20 moving average and also the other um, indicators here, the RSI and stochastic. So even though it could be that we're getting uh, some resistance here, we should in theory right now break it to the upside and hopefully also close the candle above. It looks like that we could be in here for a move to the upside, even though uh, this $9,700 could act as a resistance during the weekend. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, in the four hour here also we are in a critical point you can see that currently we are right at the 50 level if we can break through here and close also above then we should be trading here between 9850 basically where we close the cmes and uh, here $9,700. If we get rejected, then uh, prepare to test again here $9,500. MACD shifted to the downside still. So if we can really break through here and close a candle above $9,700, we might also have see a bullish cross here on the MACD. It is shifted to the downside, but as you can see, it can quickly change as well. So let's go over uh, to the Bitstamp chart again and let's open up the daily time frame because here everything is still looking very very bullish and that's why also i'm not looking to open any kind of short currently even though we could drop down to this area here i'm not really uh, interested currently to short uh, even though you're getting funding rates so if you take maybe a short um, with low leverage um, you maybe get some funding rates till we're gonna drop there if we're gonna drop there but I'm not really interested in trading like that. So I prefer to open a very nice long position and scaling my long uh, down in this uh, region here if we are going that low. If we're gonna break out here to the upside, then maybe I just gonna open a market order here long if we see a breakout to the upside because in that case we could really see big fireworks to the upside. Um, but the pattern that we are in currently could be bearish but we will compare it later also with the with the similar pattern that we had now in the S&P and there we broke out to the upside there we had a similar pattern like this uh, rising wedge but we broke out to the upside we can actually go straight there right now um, here is the futures chart and this is the regular S&P index so also here you can see in the daily time frame we had a very similar bearish pattern here, a rising wedge. Everyone was expecting here at least a correction or a pullback to the downside. Uh, currently, we didn't see that. So we didn't uh, test here the 200 daily moving average yet. And uh, also the 20 daily is exactly equal right now. They are both at $3,000. And um, here you see that yesterday we had a big spike to the upside. Also here in the futures yesterday, we had a big, big spike here to the upside and we also closed above. So I'm really wondering what will happen next year. If we're going to have a pullback or a correction, we're most likely going to see that in the beginning of the next week, in the Monday, Tuesday, something like that, I think we could see here a pullback because also usually Mondays are um, usually starting bearish. Uh, and then during the week, we are building up momentum again to the upside if we are in an uptrend. Um, but yeah, we are quite overbought as well. You can see it also here in the RSI and stochastic in the in the in the S&P. 
So I have a bit mixed feelings uh, here and um, maybe Bitcoin will also uh, um, trade the same like the S&P so maybe Bitcoin will follow uh, the S&P maybe this weekend or next week especially if the S&P is continuing to pump here and that's why I wouldn't feel too comfortable currently to short this pattern even if we see a breakout here to the downside I would rather look for good longs than shorts and uh, on Bitcoin we are still not overbought at all here in the daily so here you can see that actually we are testing the 20 daily moving average again which is very bullish that we are holding it so far but also you see that currently in the last couple of days we were very close to the 20 daily moving average so we were testing this moving average all the time so there could be of course um, a drop here so the more we test this moving average the weaker it gets and we could easily fall down here towards the 200 daily moving average which is also lining up with my first uh, target here to open up a long uh, and also scale in my uh, position down to the 0.618 fib line and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the daily here we're still trading here in the upper area so actually here we are also very bullish uh, because we could trade in theory between 9400 up to $10,200 uh, also here it looks like that we could see easily a retest here of the resistance up uh, here that's why in case we that really drop down here to 9k I maybe take a little a long position uh, just to try to it's not the perfect condition but most likely we're gonna see a bounce here and retest here the main resistance up there also based on the Bollinger Band. MACD is flat here, um, yeah we have to wait for the next uh, move although the Bollinger Band uh, seems like to cool off here and uh, to squeeze into a tiny channel so we're gonna see a breakout of course uh, anytime uh, soon. Um, but I think we're gonna stay in this potential rising wedge here for quite some time. If we really can break here the main resistance that is coming down here at $10,000, uh, this could be a very bullish sign. Uh, and then maybe we're gonna uh, have to wait for more weeks till we're gonna see any kind of bigger um, pullback or correction. And since we are still in the daily time frame, we can go quickly back to the uh, S&P futures because what I think could happen here if we're really that bullish uh, is that because it looks like that we could form here a V-shape um, formation and usually when we have a V-shape recovery um, not a V-shape to the uh, to the high that we had here at 3400 but here you see after the first crash we had a retracement back up so you can say that this is kind of a left shoulder if this is a head and shoulders pattern uh, an inverse head and shoulders pattern um, so let's uh, say that this was the high here, 3140, which we broke now. So this would be the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. It's not a nice one, but let's say we would have um, this pattern and it, and it would play out. Then the target would be the measurement from the uh, top here at 3130 and the bottom that we had down here 2170 and if the breakout is really gonna uh, play out here from uh, the top here at 3140 here the S&P could have a target here of $4,100 and completely destroy the high that we had over here at 3400 and I think it is quite possible that something like this could happen um, especially with all this uh, money printing that is going on here worldwide it is very possible that this could be the target maybe we're not gonna reach it in the next couple of days but maybe in the next couple of weeks and months maybe before the winter and I think within this year and I think if the S&P is really going that high here towards $4,100. I think in Bitcoin we would see a much better and higher performance and this could really uh, take out also the high of 20,000 that we had. Um, so I think we maybe could see uh, new all-time highs um, uh, even uh, within this year, especially if the S&P is gonna perform uh, like that. But this of course is what we have to see here in the next couple of days and weeks and uh, that's why I'm also keeping an eye very close to the stock market and also what the S&P is doing. I think we could also see a very big correction anytime soon and even though uh, we should be now bullish because we had this breakout here from 3140 um, we could see a retracement back down to test one of the moving averages or even if we continue to pump 
there is always um, a pullback, always a correction to, to retest the new supports and then have another bounce back up. So even if you're trading in the stock market, never FOMO in, always um, uh, wait for a pullback or for a confirmation of a support and then um, buy in or try to long the market. And um, yeah, so let's go back to Bitcoin and let's open up the weekly time frame because also here it's still very bullish. We're trading above the 20 weekly and 50 weekly moving average. Stochastic is still overbought, but the RSI is just above the 50. So here the RSI is still looking really bullish. And that's why if I think if we have really this breakout of this $10,300 right now without having any kind of bigger pullback or crash here towards 8k and lower uh, this could really fire up everything and we will see um, at least a retest between 14 to 18 thousand and if we go really up to test 20 thousand i think we will completely break it and also i don't i don't think that we're gonna top out at 20 thousand again i think if we're really going that high um fomo will kick in and we will break this 20k very very easily and also follow the target of the stock to flow model, which I believe as well. So there in theory, within one to two years, we should reach around $100,000 per Bitcoin. And if we're gonna overshoot this target, same like we overshooted it uh, in 2017, um, that I think at that time the target was around uh, $6,000, uh, $6 to $8,000 we came to $20,000. So if we repeat something similar, I think the target could be like a blow off top of around $300,000 per Bitcoin. And this is all what I think could happen. So everything what is above the stock to flow model is good to, uh, to sell and everything what is below is good to buy in. So currently we are below and even uh, if you buy in at 10,000 or 15,000, this would be for the long term, a very good entry point. Uh, of course, now everyone is dreaming about 8K to 6K to buy really cheap Bitcoins. But at the end, it really doesn't matter much if you're buying uh, right now or at 6K. Of course, you would almost um, buy the double of Bitcoins. But for the longer term, it doesn't really uh, matter that much, uh, I would say. Uh, yeah, we can also have a look here in the Bollinger Band in the weekly. So also here we're still trading in the upper area. Even if you retrace back down here to 8,700, we can even have a week in the weekly down here to 6K and come back up. As long as we close the weekly candles above 8,200, everything should be fine. Also MACD shifted to the upside. Also here, very bullish uh, uh, forecast here in the weekly time frames. And uh, let's go also quickly to Ethereum here in the weekly because also here, you can see that we are coming uh, to the main resistance that we build it up here since the top of 360. Then here we had the $288 top and currently also here we touched the top at $250. Also here this screams a little bit like a correction is coming maybe down here to the 20 weekly at $200. This is also what I think could happen. Uh, actually let's do a fib retracement from the bottom that we had here. And uh, the top with which is currently at, uh, what was it, $252. So if we really retrace back down, also here, similar like in Bitcoin, I would look here uh, at the point uh, 382 FIB line here at $190, uh, down 250 if we really have that big, uh, yeah, a big uh, retracement back down, which is possible. But also here on Ethereum, I think as soon as we're gonna break here, this main resistance here, um, we could be again headed towards uh, here $800 and maybe even higher thousand. If Bitcoin is breaking 20K, also Ethereum will most likely break here this $1,400. And I think in on Ethereum, we could have a way better performance most likely because Ethereum is really low, still very low currently compared to the, uh, to the all time high. Bitcoin, let's say it's a 50%. So Ethereum should be currently up here somewhere at around $500 uh, and not that low. So I think Ethereum most likely will gonna have a very nice performance in the next bull run. I'm holding also some Ethereum. Most likely all some other altcoins will do a nice performance, uh, but I'm not that spread. Like I have some uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, like more than 90% is in Bitcoin of course, but I also have some Ethereum, XRP, and I think some uh, NEO I also have somewhere most, I think if I didn't sell them, I, I have to check, I don't remember well. Um, but uh, what I think maybe to buy also is a bit of Monero and um, Chainlink, if we're gonna have a, um, a pullback. 
uh, if we're gonna have a pullback I think to buy also some Monero and uh, Chainlink those coins I still uh, uh, don't have yet but um, if we're gonna have a major pullback uh, especially on Chainlink I, 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 I think I will buy some because this coin is really performing uh, really great and this is uh, only now without any big big uh, spike or breakout here or a new all-time highs in other cryptos uh chainlink is already performing uh really fantastic and um yeah i think this could be a coin that real will uh, really gain a lot of uh, um attention here once it's gonna break out uh, here i think chainlink will be one of the coins that is worth to keep for the next uh, bull run all right guys and um, remember that if you are trading on Bybit and you used my uh, sign up links that you find down below here in the video description for Bybit if you use that link already or if you're new into trading and you want to open an account and you're using my sign up link uh, within the next two weeks if you put a deposit on Bybit of 0.2 Bitcoin um, so it's valid till the 20th of uh, June starting from today you can get extra $100 bonus completely for free and it will be added into your account automatically within uh, three days. So as soon as you put at least with one transaction 0.2 Bitcoin in your wallet on Bybit, then you will get this $100 extra bonus. And this is only valid from today on uh, uh, until the 20th of June. And you have to use my link. So this is only valid if you already registered with my sign up link that you find down below here for Bybit or if you're opening a new account with uh, my link you will get immediately these hundred dollars extra into your trading account here on Bybit next to all the other uh, rewards that you anyway get from uh, Bybit because Bybit in my opinion has still the best uh, rewards hub still the best uh, uh, also community if you follow them on Twitter they do almost everyday uh, giveaways and uh, um, yeah, so if you follow them also on Twitter, you can even get more than these rewards here. So definitely, if you want to trade uh, Bitcoin and other assets, you definitely should uh, use uh, Bybit. This is the exchange that I trade the most and it's really um, almost a perfect uh, trading platform in my opinion. I never had problems here. Even the support is really great working. And yeah, here you can trade uh, uh, three altcoins and also Bitcoin, of course. If you need to trade some other assets, also gold, for example, you can do that over on uh, Femex, for example, or Prime XPT. There you can also trade oil, for example. So if you need an account there, you want to trade those assets, you find also some sign up links down below here in the video description. Uh, with them, you can get some sign up bonuses and rewards as well here Femex is also not too bad uh, and here you can get 72 dollars but um, i still would recommend you if you want to trade bitcoin or uh, ethereum xrp eos uh, to stay on uh, bybit and now they're giving you also this hundred dollars extra if you put this deposit um, it doesn't mean that you have to trade with this you just have to put it there and you will get this hundred dollars extra all right, guys, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Maybe I'm going to go uh, live later uh, over on uh, Twitch. Um, I'm doing the live streams on Twitch. So if you want to also see the live streams, you can uh, join uh, the Twitch channel. You find the link down below here to my channel. And also make sure to join our free Discord trading chat. It's completely for free. Everyone is welcome. The link you find also down below here in the video description. So go and uh, join the chat we have a very nice community shout out to everyone which is already in discord and uh, yeah happy trading my friends have a nice weekend enjoy the saturday and uh, we see us all in the next one thank you for watching leave a like subscribe to the channel bye bye